Hi everybody. Today my video is going to be all about the English A6 Hobonichi, which if you are excited as I am, we could officially start this a few days ago. And I did a preliminary setup video and I am using it exactly how I said in that video. I'm going to be using it as a gratitude journal mainly. As you can see, I did end up buying a sack cover. So once I saw my girl Lily's video when she did her review on this, she's a vegan organizer, I knew that I absolutely had to have this because the English version, as you know, comes with a really great cover, which I'm gonna try and get this out of here. It's black and it's got kind of a pebbly surface to it. So it's really nice and thick and it seems to be that it was gonna be durable, but I was kind of concerned that it was the corners especially were gonna get bent up and then I'm really klutzy and I thought for sure I was probably gonna spill on, uh, on this at some point. So I thought if you've seen my covering paperbacks video, I thought about covering it with the contact paper, but with this pebbly surface like this, I, it, I didn't really feel like the contact paper was gonna stick very well. Really, it would just stick right here and that was gonna be the main part of it. So I didn't feel comfortable with that as a solution but this sack cover is definitely it. I completely love it. So as you can see, it's a little bit hard to get in just because of the material. The silicone is really, as you know, just rubbery and sticky, which is a good and a bad thing. I'm not necessarily gonna do like a full review. I'm just gonna give you my observations on this because there are other videos out there. I will actually link Lily's video below. But I went ahead with this color. It's a gorgeous color, the light blue. And another thing, as you know about Hobonichi, if you don't buy something that year, it most likely will not be there the next year. So because I was in love with this light blue color, I definitely went ahead and wanted to get that. So right off the bat, I'm going to show you this because sticky notes are a huge part of my life. So here's some brand new, super sticky post-it brand sticky notes, which of course are the gold standard and they do not stick on this cover, which was kind of surprising to me. Sticky notes are a huge part of my life with any type of notebook, journal, or planner. I always have some type of sticky note pretty much on the front cover. That's not going to be an option here. It's not a deal breaker. I still completely love this. I'm just going to have to put them on the inside. But just to, if you are thinking about maybe putting a label on here or any kind of decorative stickers or anything like that, I really don't think it's going to work. I don't see a, I don't see a way that you could actually put something on here like that. But... I do love this cover particularly because it's like a second skin. So like I said, it was, it's going to cover the English version really, really nicely and just give it a lot more durability. It's really thick and I think it's going to be kind of stain proof, at least hopefully for me. It does attract hair and dust and lint and those kinds of things, but it does wipe off really, really easily. I have a dog that sheds like crazy and I've just been able to wipe it off with no problem. So the other thing is that the, the strap right here to cover it up, and I think it just goes back to just because it's silicone, it is very, very tight, but it is very stretchy. So you do kind of have to just work with it a little bit, but you know, you do want it tight. So I'm not gonna quibble with that problem right there, but it is, you know, as you can see right here, I just kind of have to stretch it over my pen like that. And then the bookmark, as you can see, is really, really fat and even, it's right now I'm trying to fix it so it's laying flat. So that's how it is when it lays really flat. It's still got a pretty big bubble right there. And sometimes you can actually see through it all the way to the bottom. I'm not sure how much I love this bookmark. I'm going to try it at least till the end of this month. But at this point, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I went ahead and cut that thing off. But I did want to try it before I did that. So it is a very, like I said, very snug cover, but that's what I really love about this. So opening it up, and I still have this here because this one doesn't start until January, but I've kind of played around and thought about this. I don't even know if the eight, one eighth inch stickers are gonna fit on here. I, I don't think that they are. So my plan right now is just to circle each day that I have written in my journal. And so that's why I just have that little note right there. But that's how that is. Now this one, I don't know if you guys were like I was, but I knew that this started December 16th. And for some reason in my brain, I thought that the, the years, I think I had just forgotten that this actually started 
in December instead of January. So when December 16th came and I opened this up to do start my gratitude, I was like, oh no, it actually has December. So how I was using, or I was going to use this page and then had to go and backtrack it. This is going to be like accomplishments or really good things or just kind of a overall synopsis of the day of something good that happened for that day. Something that I was really proud of or just kind of a big event for the day. And I just have that there. So I did have to go back and do that, but I, I feel like I did remember things okay. And at the very top up here, those are just kind of the overall month, you know, the really big overriding accomplishments are just kind of the, the theme of the month. So I really like the way that it's turning out like that. Then when you go to the monthly, which I also said I was going to do this and I love this. This is just a vocabulary builder type of a thing. A lot of these words I did know already, but they're just kind of those words that you forget about it, forget about using. So the, some of these were just a really good reminder. So I just have the word at the very top in all capital letters and then I skip a line and then the next two or three lines I just put some either words that describe it or the definition. So I don't, I didn't put down if it was a verb or an adjective or noun or anything like that, because I feel like I can figure things out on what it actually is. But this was just kind of a month at a glance vocabulary. So I go back and look back on each day and just kind of have that in my brain. I did do this at, a, as you can see, by month. I think the whole entire thing took me 30 minutes or less. I just have an app on my phone. I think it's Vocabulary HD. There are other ones out there. But what I've noticed is that these vocabulary apps, they do have a finite amount of words, but I do think that one app will get me through the entire year. But I really like that the way that that is turning out as well. And then I'm just going to go to my first two days because I don't have, I'm not done with Friday yet. And then as you can see, if you can read it, there are some very personal things on here. So I'm not sure how much I will show you of this in the future, but just some really, you know, either some simple things or some very big things that I'm grateful for. I'm just writing that down. I'm actually loving this two column system on the page. I'm not sure once I get to this page, how it's going to work. If, if there's too much blank space, I didn't have any plans on putting stickers or any decorations or anything like that. But if there's too much blank space, I might end up doing something. Definitely will use some kind of transparent stickers because I do not, absolutely do not want to bulk up this gratitude journal. A lot of my other Hopanichis I don't plan on keeping from year to year. I actually plan on throwing them away, but this one is definitely one that I'm going to be keeping. So that is going to be one of my issues that I will get to in a few weeks. I still have this here. I haven't decided on my quote or scripture for January, but I'm still going to put that there. So I'm really loving this. As you can see, I've got my pen right here. These are, this is the metallic green and it's a pilot juice in 0.5. So what I, if you have seen any of my other videos, I am trying to use up a lot of my supplies. So I really do like the pilot juices, but I don't love them. For a gel pen, they are very, very nice. And they do come in two different sizes, at least for my preferences, the 0.5 and also 0.38. For some reason, which was surprising to me, the 0.38s were way too scratchy for me to use. I've actually used something down to a 001 that was a beautiful writing instrument, but the 0.38s for some reason in the Pilot Juices were just, I didn't like them. So I ended up getting the 0.5 sets. This, these right here are the set, the metallic set. So it comes with gold, silver, as you can see, green, blue, pink, and purple. And because I have a more logical brain, there's six colors and there's 12 months in the year. So I want to use each pen twice in the year. And I didn't want to use the same pen two months in a row. So I actually have a little note back here that I did on figuring out which pen I'm going to use for which particular month. And this is not written in this pen, by the way. This is written in like a 0.7 or 1.0, which is huge for me, but I love, love, love these pages. I, I'm so in love with Hobonichi. I can't even tell you. Anyway, that is my plan. And thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon.